Hey everyone. And today we're going to be doing an install of Antec Designs Arch Deep In Spin. Very, very nice distribution based on Arch. So without further ado, let's start the installer. We use English. Prepare installation. Set virtual console. Right, let's jump to the end. Come up and choose UK. Down, down, up, GB UK. Where am I going to put this? SDE, that's fine. Let's mount the partitions. SDE, three for root. Yes, format. Hopefully the mount is successful after this. It is, that's good. I'm actually going to use a swap partition in this instance, as I've got one already set, which is SDE2. UEFI is going to be SDE1. Yes, boot, yes. And home partition is going to be SDE4. And this should prompt me next for what I want to use this partition for. You may have noticed that little pop-up coming in the top right corner. For some reason the live media or the environment I'm in thinks it's running out of space. It's not. It just thinks it is. All right, let's install the base. It's a very quick installation. doesn't take very long at all. The QT framework. Firmware, kernel modules, it doesn't take very long at all, as you can see it's very quick at installing. Bit of Python going in, deep in manual, very good manual by the way. If you've never seen the deep in manual, I suggest having a look just for its sheer beauty, it's a lovely manual. Oh, papyrus, that's good, that saves me a job. Nice. e-papyrus as well, very nice. That's good. That's all the language settings, the man pages. So it's an NCURSES installer, so you know if you're, if you're experienced in installing things then this shouldn't be any problem, it's very simple. Oh I need to add shutdown to this list so it speeds that up too. I will edit that afterwards. That's how I prefer to do this. You can see it's on 4.18. Let's install the bootloader and we'll use Grub. Grub's fine. As you know, it supports UEFI and legacy, so that's good. There you go, it's accessing the disks now, so that's installing. It should ask us if we want it to be the default. I remember rightly, it's from these types of installations. Yes. Good. That's that bit done. Let's configure the base. I'm going to use UUID and part UUID. I prefer that method. Host name. Time zone E. LLL. There we go. Yes, Europe, London, hardware clock to UTC, system locale, down, 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 GB UTF-8, as I'm in the UK. Makes sense. Right, root password. We're going to have a fairly strong password. Now we need to add the user. I'll give him a different password. I never use the same password for both. It doesn't make sense. There we go. Review the configuration. I might as well do sudo as now. Uh, this is up to you if you want to go down this road. I personally do do this because that's how I prefer it to work. You may not agree. You may think this is bad practice, but 
each to their own. In some circumstances I would agree, but I know what I'm doing, so I'm comfortable doing this. And I'm going to uncomment sudo as well. And write that file back. Exit. Let's have a quick look at the Pac-Man conf. I think I noticed it was a uh, multi-lib as well. It is, that's good. Let's quit that. Back, done, done. There's the installer done. So that's ArchDeep in install. I'm going to pause this here and I'll pop back in in the installed system. Okay, so we're back and that's the NVIDIA drivers installed. I'm just going to run the NVIDIA settings so that I can set it up how I want. And there we go. You can see it's the 41057 drivers. That's the primary, thank you. Yep. Force composition pipeline, apply. Yes, that's fine. Let's just bring that back over from the other screen. Open GL settings, allow flipping is off. This is a nice one now. Um, enable graphics API visualizer, visual indicator. That will actually give you the API information at the top, but it also gives you an FPS counter. So that can be quite useful for people. You don't have to any, use any other like Steam overlay or anything like that. You can actually get it direct from the driver, which is very nice. Um, as you can see, I'm running with TI, 1080 TI. So that's good. Let's save the config to etc. x11.org.conf. Nicely, nicely done. Thank you very much. And there we are. That's that done. Uh, the panel's been... There we go, panel's back. Okay, so what I'd recommend is that you go over to Antec Design's YouTube channel and subscribe. There's got some great content up there. So if you want to download that, this is a few days ago now, so this ISO has been superseded, and that's the version I've installed. If you pop over to his website at antecdesigns.00webhostapp.com, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go directly there. Here's a, a tutorial for installing the NVIDIA drivers, which I'd um, recommend you do if you're using the latest 14, uh, 4 4.18 kernel. Um, how to install Arch Linux, nice another tutorial there. And the deep in ISO is available here. So if you pop across to this page, there's a direct mega link there where you can download it and install it for yourself. Beautiful, beautiful distribution. So subscribe to Antec Designs and uh, enjoy the distribution as, as much as I am. So there we have it. That's Arch Deepin installed on bare metal. Um, a fantastic distro. I'm going to be using this as a, a daily driver along with my Antigos install. And uh, I'll see how it goes. It hasn't. I've done a full update at the moment, so there's nothing else to do. So I'm just going to carry on installing my required apps and see how I go from there. And I'll report back in a future video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all either in the next live stream or in the next video. Thank you very much.